We're rolling. Speak. It's all yours. What did you do to work towards this award? It started um, many years ago. Um, the teachers, we do a lot of, um, like, can I back up? <laughs> do you mean the award for Blue Ribbon? Sorry. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. We um, were nominated last year and um, we had to fill out an application for to receive this um, award. So we brought all the teachers together and we really worked on the different levels of different things that we do in our school um, to make sure that all kids are successful and they feel safe and they're learning um, academically and emotionally. According to the Education Department, this award can lead to partnerships with local businesses. Have you guys utilized any of these partnerships? We do. We use a lot of um, partners. And we have um, one thing that I'm very proud of is our PV University. And this is where um, parents come and um, community members come to the school and they work with our students. We have engineers. We have people that come in and work with our students with um, coding. We work with um, STEM. We also have um, extracurricular. We have people from the community that come in and teach our kids ballroom dancing and engineering, um, just a lot of different things, and Taekwondo. We actually have a knitting class, a sewing class. So we try to you know, bring the community in and provide the services that we can to our students after school. What do you value most about your teachers? I love my We are so fortunate to have our teachers. Um, they just spend a lot of time trying to find out how to engage students and get kids excited about coming to school. Um, we have very high expectations, but we make sure that we look at our data and we um, create lessons that are engaging and rigorous and find lots of ways to ensure that all students are growing, um, regardless if, it's, it's, if a student is below grade level or above grade level. And then what do you love most about your students? Oh my gosh, they just, they come into school, they just love to learn, um, they are excited to see you, they work hard, and it's just, it's a great atmosphere. Good. If any of your kids come in here and they're having challenges, how do you address those challenges? That's another thing, I'm just so fortunate to be um, part of PHM because there are so many different resources that we have available to us. Um, Dr. Thacker always talks about the triangle of success, where students are first and then we build with um, the parents and with our staff and we find so many different resources to make sure that students are learning and growing. Um, we have our RTI team, a response to intervention team um, that we can go to um, to ask for additional support. For our students that are high ability and struggling, we also have a high ability coordinator in PHM that we can ask for assistance there. Um, so there's just a lot of wonderful resources that we can tap into it in PHM. Great, and my last question is, what kind of opportunities have you had because of this award? We've had a lot of opportunities. Um, people reaching out to us that want to get involved. Um, we have partnerships from Bethel, from IU, that they want to have um, students come in here and work with our students. Um, we've had some nursing homes that want to reach out to us and build a relationship where they can come in and work with our students. Our students can work with them, and just it's a whole community working together. Um, whatever. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Hang on. Stay by. Okay. Anytime. PHM is um, Penn Harris Madison School Corporation. Okay. Anything else? Many people will not, some people will be, no, they're not going to know that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sorry.